Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at something that I've been expecting since the latest update where I added the short suspensions. And that is a motorbike, a proper motorbike that only uses two wheels that are centralized to the overall design. That's what's sitting right next to me on the left hand side. This is a tiny motorcycle which features two small wheels and a saddle cockpit to drive this thing around. Now the only drawback of using a design like this is that you can't actually move the wheels around. It's entirely dependent on the gyroscopes, so using your mouse to actually make any kind of cornering. We'll see that a bit later when we go around on a fancy racetrack that I found on the workshop. So yes, this is a very centralized wheel design, and it's kind of hard to actually explain how this thing drives. I just recommend downloading it, checking it out yourself, especially seeing how the wheels have been set up in order to make your own creations. I suppose we just go and press F10, find it in the form menu, and then we'll just go from there. So this thing is 42 small blocks using the Automaton Degra Block Number 3 and Wasteland DLC packs. We can see here a tiny bit of information about it, such as it's a dirt cheap build, it's extremely durable, very agile, and you have to use your mouse to steer it, you would eat to keep balance, and it requires the Automaton's DLC pack. So simply give this a thumbs up, we'll move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go properly chest out on that track that I said about earlier, and I think that'll be that. Do excuse me magnetically play the block right there, it does not sit balanced when it's on its own, that's the only way I can keep it upright. Anyway, this is what we get at the very front, the tiny motorbike. And that is of course our Wasteland Spotlight with a reactor sitting right behind it. Right below there is our wheel on its short suspension, with a secondary suspension on the side just to keep a bit of symmetry. We also have some armoured panels on the side just for a bit of protection and of course to cover up the size of those suspensions. If we come around onto this side without the steel block just keeping it upright, we then see our saddle cockpit in the middle. We see how it's been connected up below our cockpit to give it some kind of structural integrity. Then on the side here is one of two gyroscopes which are very much needed to actually drive this thing around. Coming around towards the very back, there's another wasteland spotlight adding us our brake light. There's a small battery to give it a bit of power. And there is the other gyroscope, the opposite side. Moving all the way down underneath the sink, past all of this other crap that I spawned in. There we go, we now see up at our saddle cockpit. There's our wheel suspension. Then moving up and looking down at it. There we go. It's a very simplistic overall design, and it just works absolutely fantastically. Anyway, now what I can do, just grab hold of my character, come into here, we've got absolutely no controls whatsoever, so I'm going to undo the parking brake and just drive it around on this flat surface for the moment. And as you can see us move this thing around, I'm going to now hit A and D, we cannot move, just spinning the mouse around. There we go. So when we turn this thing around, we will need to counter our tipping by pressing Q and E as it stated on the workshop page. So let's do that one more time and start to turn around. I'm now going to press Q and just try and keep this upright as much as possible. It does lead to a lot of scenarios where you just simply drift around the corners, which looks very cool from a third person perspective, but in first person it can be very janky. But as for that, it's generally just a regular land vehicle that can go up to 100 meters per second, no problems. So what I'm going to do is I'll drive all the way up to this lovely race course. We're going to go all the way around it. I believe I have done a showcase on this before. I believe I don't want to run any do sports cars and put it around this track. Here we go, we can just come past all of this. If you are interested in the track, there will be a link to its description below. It does come with a bunch of vehicles pre-made up, and does have a natural system for racing. Here we come around this corner. We want to keep it nice and slow to make sure we've got no issues whatsoever, and I'll just hide the HUD for the moment. We'll just go around like so. Just going to charge along at high speeds, come around to this sharp corner, turning the mouse using E. I'm just going to very carefully just come around. And as you can see, this is what I've said about drifting around corners. It looks very good, but it does feel very jank. Anyway, this is going to be a super sharp corner, so slamming on the brakes, turning around, and now it's a bit harsh on the brakes. And then once again, we just come around this corner, drift around a bit, and start to charge around. Yes, there's not really too much else to talk about, I just thought a fancy design that some people might get a kick out of, because motorbikes have always been quite a hard thing to build, usually most designs go for a three-wheeler, or just have to resort to mods to actually make a centralized wheel design, but this now can actually be properly done in the game, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Attach some guns on there, attach a, like a Gatling gun, a rocket launcher. <laughs> There's one that I tried out earlier and well failed miserably going around that corner and just blew it up. As I was saying, you attach some guns on the hit, attach an ore detector antenna, go out on the bounce scout for ore patches. And we'll just use it as a general exploration vehicle, use it as a small light combat vehicle, even use it as a transport vehicle to carry one person to a train station if you want to, put a small chair on there. Critical. And well, unfortunately, there goes that motorbike. Once again, basically what I did beforehand, just spawn in a brand new one, go and just finish off this track. Yes, as I was saying, put a small seat on the back there, carry some passages around, if they're brave enough to come with you. 
yes, it's just a very novel design and works very, very well, especially if the surface is flat. If there's any kind of lumps and bumps, I could see this being a bit of a problem with driving around at high speeds, but that's only a problem if you are driving around at high speeds, so if you're being careful, it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. And there we go, now back at the very start, and there is the finish line. So there'll be a link to the description below if you wish to download and play around with yourself, highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another video looking at one of your designs later on. Anyway, thank you all for watching, bye bye.